Hey YouTube, haven't been on in a while, so I just decided to show you the stuff I just picked up recently. But before I get to that, I was actually reading online about the Bioshock 1 art books. Allegedly there were two made, and I do have one which I got from 2K Games. But I did find the other one for really cheap. And here it is, this is the uh, Bioshock 1 Breaking the Mold art book. And as you see it shows um, the logos, ads, uh, splicers, monsters, big daddies. Really good art book, very well done. I really like this. I got it for a really good price. I'm really thrilled to have found it. But I've actually found some more information about this one, which is uh, the one I got from 2K Games, the uh, developer's edition of Breaking the Mold. Allegedly, this is extremely, extremely rare. As a matter of fact, this is actually one of the rarest art books ever made um, for two reasons, mainly. Um, first of all, this is actually a misprint. As you see right here, developer is spelt wrong. And it is also a first edition. So this is an extremely, extremely rare art book. As a matter of fact, it's actually selling online on eBay for six to eight hundred dollars. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. Um, but I'm actually going to keep it. Um, I, it's a really great art book. It's in immaculate condition. And I like to have it with my all my other Bioshock stuff. Um, I have all the limited edition Bioshock um, games. I have all the figurines. And now I have both art books. So I'm just going to keep it in my collection. So I just think that's really cool. And another addition to my really rare stuff that I have in my collection. So I'm really thrilled about that. All right, moving on to the games. Um, most of this uh, stuff is, actually all of this stuff is boxed and in really great shape. So I'm gonna start off with the oldest thing I have and that's the NES cleaning kit. Uh, I've heard these are pretty hard to come by and really hard to come by boxed. And this is in uh, pretty much immaculate condition except for a little dent right there and little bend right there. But besides that is pretty much immaculate and um, it's really cool. I'm actually pretty thrilled to have found this, so very nice. Alright, moving on to the Super Nintendo. Um, these are in pretty good shape. Some of these are in really incredible shape and some of them are so-so, like this one right here. This is the Secret of Evermore. Pretty decent shape, um, but this is a pretty uncommon game, so Pretty nice addition. Next is Mega Man X. It's got a few creases right here, but still very cool. Nice to find some box games. Next, actually this one's in pretty good shape. Donkey Kong Country, this is the um, Player's Choice Million Seller. But um, this is actually in really good shape. It's got a few little nicks and stuff, but it is complete and pretty cool. You don't see that every day. Which brings me to the next one, which is Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy Kong's Quest. This one I think is in a little better condition than Donkey Kong, but complete and very nice. But the last one I have is very nice. This is immaculate. And that is Super Star Wars. Look at this thing. It is perfect. Not one thing wrong with it. No scratches, no dents, no nothing. All the creases are perfect. And very thrilled to have this. It has all everything in it. So very cool. Moving on to the 64. Uh, these are in pretty rough condition I have to say. Um, first one is Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. And yeah, it's got that. But um, it's a pretty uncommon game, so still pretty thrilled I got it boxed. Um, picked it up pretty cheap. Moving on to Turok 3 Shadow of Oblivion. This won't stand that well, but um, I'm actually missing the, only one of the, um, the Turok games. Actually, I have all of them boxed except for the first one, so um, I gotta find that one to have the complete box uh, to rock collection for the 64. And finally, um, this is a game I actually rented from Blockbuster a lot. 
Um, this is when the Beetle first came out, and that's uh, Beetle Adventure Racing. Um, it's got like one uh, little bend at the top. Uh, besides that, it's in pretty great shape. It is missing the cardboard insert in, inside, so you hear the uh, game moving around inside. So that sucks, but still, I found the box, so not bad. And finally, actually, this is a sealed game, and this is uh, Polarium Advance for the Game Boy Advance. And uh, besides a little scratch right here, it's pretty much in perfect shape. So pretty cool. It's an Atlas game, and um, Atlas games typically have a really short uh, production run, so this is pretty cool. And uh, that's it. All right, thanks for watching.